And on this episode of Reeks of Desperation, we have the news that Robert Downey Jr. has returned back to the MCU, but not as Iron Man, but as Doctor Doom. Kevin, you have literally done the Thanos quote. You could not live with your own failures, and where did that bring you? Back to me. This is a move that makes no sense. No sense at all. You could have used Killian Murphy. Off of Oppenheimer, off of just winning an Oscar. You could have put him as Doctor Doom, and that would have been very, very awesome to see. You could have put, I don't know, Henry Cavill as Doctor Doom. That would have been fun, too. But Kevin, why are you bringing back Robert Downey Jr.? Oh, is it because everything that you've done since Endgame has been pretty much a failure? What, no one's uh, clamoring for uh, Black Widow 2, Shang-Chi 2, Eternals 2? You've already said Eternals 2 isn't happening. So why did you greenlit that? Why, why was that allowed to even be made? Multiverse of Madness was terrible. Love and Thunder was terrible. Wakanda Forever was terrible. Quantum Mania lost a ton of money. And for Guardians 3, you had to lie to the audience in the trailer. You made it seem like they were all going to die, Kevin. You did that to sell a movie. And yeah, you made some money, but where are you going from there? Probably nowhere, because no one cares anymore. And then you got the Marvels, uh, your own pet project, Kevin. How did that one turn out? Are there, a, are there a thousand little girls out there saying, yes, I could do anything because I've seen the Marvels, and if she can do it, I can do it too? No, Kevin. No. Movie lost a ton of money and was hysterically bad. Then you move over to your TV shows. How's that going? Agatha all along? You really think that's going to bring in massive numbers? Secret Invasion, how was that? Terrible. Echo, terrible. She-Hulk, terrible. Miss Marvel, the show, terrible. Moon Knight, we haven't seen this dude in two years. Two years. You haven't even remotely spoken or hinted at Moon Knight. What do you got going on there? Nothing. Nothing at all. Hawkeye, got nothing going on with that. What if season three? How is that possibly coming out? How, what was that going to be, the Captain Carter show again? Like, season two? Terrible, terrible show. So yeah, I guess kind of it makes sense going back to Robert Downey Jr. Because at this point, Kevin, you got nothing. You got nothing at all to brag about. You got no movies coming out in the upcoming years that remotely looks interesting. No franchises that you're developing that just really bringing in any interest at all so yeah this is an absolute 100 percent desperation move by marvel they need to make headlines they need to bring people back to the theaters and you know what robert downey jr is gonna bring him back doom's probably gonna make a lot a lot of money and since you've completely completely and utterly got rid of the kang dynasty which i think actually might be a really dumb move because i don't i don't believe in invest in all the this time and resources into a product and just killing it because quantum mania did bad yeah 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 you got the jonathan majors trial and crap like that doesn't matter you could just recast him it's pretty it's pretty simple to recast jonathan majors and just bring someone else in but so the problem is now you have everything lead into secret wars and i don't know it just seems like you're trying to really change things up at the final hour these movies are going to take a real long time to write. And right now, Kevin, the the writing room is terrible. The writing room right now in Marvel is awful. So what happened? You guys decided, hey, let's get rid of all the DEI stuff and hire some actual good writers? Is is that the direction now of Disney? No, we're not going to put our any stock into our diversity inclusion. We're going to go back to the old way of making tons of money, making great products. Are, are, are the dark days of the DEI era over? I, I don't know. I find that a little bit strange. That they finally realized after all these years and all these products. I don't understand. I don't understand how you made so many bad films over the past just few years. And now all of a sudden you realize, oh yeah, this is a terrible idea. You guys made the Marvels, Kevin. You were out there promoting this movie as if it was the greatest movie of all time. I don't know if I really believe you anymore. I, I just, a vote of no confidence for me. I don't believe Kevin Feige right now at this stage of the game has any idea what a good idea is. But again, not so long ago, the Marvels, who was bragging about it. How great it is. 
are we going to get Captain Marvel 3? Is she going to remotely be attached to the MCU? Probably not. Probably not. Is she going to be the one that beats Doctor Doom later on? I wouldn't be surprised, actually. Because Captain Marvel is Kevin Feige's pet project. And he's not just going to let it die. So, back to the Robert Downey Jr. stuff. You know, it's a great move for them. It's going to bring butts to the seats. But looking at what you guys have done in not such a long time ago... You guys haven't done anything right. Sure, Deadpool and Wolverine's probably going to make a lot of money, but... Man, going forward, there is not much hope. Blade has been up in the air for years. Fantastic Four, who... That's that's a 50-50 at this point. I don't don't know, man. Just seems like right now, Kevin Feige and Marvel as a whole, and Disney too, they are grasping at straws. They are trying to do everything in their power to try to stay relevant and try to stay afloat when they had all this slew of terrible movies and shows and losing tons of money in the stock market. Now, all of a sudden, they're trying to make it seem like, yes, we've listened to the fans. Yes, we've heard your outcries. We understand that everyone hates our product, and we're going to do right by everyone. I just don't know if I fully believe you at this point. But in the end, what do you guys think about that?